Throwing on second and 14. Hurts. And oh, right away, he lost the football. It's picked up by the Titans. And they are going to bring this one back. A fumble return touchdown for the Titans. So the big fella gets on the scoreboard with a return for a touchdown. Good thing he didn't have to go too far, though. You know the trainers were very happy about that. Imagine having to go get him in the end zone, escort him to the bench, and give him the oxygen. But first down, Hurts. Oh, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. A.J. Boye with a pick. And he will take this one home. It's a touchdown. So this defense doubling its pleasure there. Remember, they had the fumble return for a score earlier in the game, and now this time an interception return for another score. Sometimes I overuse that this is an important possession, but I think this has to be the possession. Oh, you saw that one coming. It's intercepted, thrown back across his body. Picked by Kevin Byard. When a team's turned it over three times in the first half, we just look at the offense and say, guys, what are you doing? But instead, we really should be looking at the defense. They've created the takeaways. Two interceptions, one cause fumble. They played awfully well swarming to the ball here in the first half. Now it's Tannehill. Looking this time for one and it's intercepted. Darius Slay with a pick. And the Eagles are going to have great field position here as this is returned just shy of midfield. Position and three timeouts as well in their pocket. No reason not to try and put a late scoring drive together. Hurts. And Hurts is intercepted. His third of the game. Picked by Kevin Byer. And he'll take it across midfield and down to the 48-yard line. An unfortunate sequence there, trying to get points before intermission, but now the interception, and their opponents have a chance to possibly pad their lead. Yeah, they had an opportunity there, and they weren't able to capitalize on it, and that's something that could come back and haunt them later. Just took care of you and your team in a big way. You know, you turned it over there. That's... And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. It's Chris Harris with a pick. And the Titans are going to take over here up near the 40. Well, still down quite a bit here, several scores. But, yeah, at least that's a start, Charles, getting the interception here. And look, we're still in the third quarter, so this thing not done yet. You're right about that, Brandon. This defense, they haven't quit on this game. They stayed with it and got an interception today, partner, because they forced big turnovers already. And it's been incredibly tough for them to get yards against, let alone put points up on the board. And now here is another interception. Xavier Rhodes with a pick. Well, there's two sides to this coin. I mean, on one side, five interceptions now thrown for him. That's tough. But, man, this defense, they have been ball hawking and impressive. But, Charles, let's flip it back over. If you're coaching a quarterback that's struggling this much at this stage of the game, you maybe try to get him out. Instead, they're on the spot and help separate the receiver from the ball. And he's not going to get there. Might have even lost a yard. He only needed a yard, but he couldn't even get back to the line of scrimmage. And the Titans, they've got the football back, and they've got it in great field position. On second and ten, Hurts being chased out left. And now look at this, big game, but a fumble. But I believe it was covered by an eagle. It was, and Philadelphia is going to hold on to the football. From down at the 12, it's first and 10. They'll set up a throw. And my goodness, another interception. Picked off by Amade Hooker. And the Titans come up with a late turnover, but it will probably only matter to the statisticians as this ball game is now officially over. So this one, a Tennessee Titan victory. Now, I tell you what, I can't remember a defensive performance as good as this one. They seemingly forced turnover after turnover after turnover every time you turned around. Yeah, you can just keep going with it, can't you? After turnover, after turnover. <laughs> As this game unfolded, they were doing all the dictating, right? They dealt the offense exactly how it was going to go down today. 
So you saw them deflate with every series, didn't you? Every time they ran onto the field, it was slower and slower to get to the football because they just felt like if we go out there, we're just going to turn it over anyway. So it was really, really a stellar performance. So for Tennessee, they continue to be one of the best teams around as they move to 10 and 2. And they'll return home next week to take on the Jacksonville Jaguars. Meanwhile, for Philadelphia, this loss cost them in the playoff chase as they fall back to 7 and 5 on the year. And they'll look to regroup next week as they head to MetLife Stadium to take on the New York Giants.